John Lyon was born in Boston on April 2nd, 1893. After the University of Virginia, he went to Georgetown and studied law. While he was there, he took on the job of editor of his father's newspaper, the Alexandria Monitor. He was like many idealistic young men of the era and volunteered to serve in the hospital corps in France in 1915. We believe his family must have been supportive of this because on his passport application, his dad signed as a witness. John Lyon served as an ambulance driver from about May 1915 till about December. He told two different stories in letters home to his family. To his mother, he made it sound like he was having a fun time, driving around, chauffeuring doctors back and forth, smelling the flowers in Paris. But to his sister, he wrote letters that were much more moving about his experience near the battlefield. He painted a story of needing to only drive at night so the Germans wouldn't attack the ambulances that he was driving. He talked about the difficulties of being on the front. Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. After he returned from France, he wasn't ready yet to settle down in Arlington, and he enlisted in the U.S. Army officially. In September 1918, John's unit took part in the Musa Argonne Offensive, which was the final push against Germany. He spent the next 47 days, the last 47 days of his life, fighting over four miles of land between France and Germany. Lieutenant John Lyon died October 15, 1918, just three weeks before the armistice that would end World War I. His parents got a letter from a major H.L. Opie that told them how their son had died. In the letter, Major Opie tells them that he had been wounded on the battlefield and he saw John Lyon leave the relative safety of his machine gun nest to try to rush to his aid and was killed by enemy fire. John Lyon's valor is not forgotten here in Arlington. His name, along with 12 others who lost their lives in World War I, is on the Arlington War Memorial plaque in Clarendon Circle. And in 1934, VFW Post 3150 established itself and named itself for him.